you pronounce that Kavik in Canada? Buckley, Robert, Kavik. Kavik, Buckley, Robert, Rob, Ben, and others that are patiently holding. And I want to ask the listeners, am I wrong saying that we shouldn't blame the Second Amendment? I mean, obviously we shouldn't. Crime with guns is way down. But the mainstream media is predictably doing that. Well, then how do we force the discussion of the fact that White House controlled media, from Media Matters to CNBC to MSNBC to CNN, not so much CNBC, but they do some of it, are pushing racial division narratives and acting like all the stress and all the problems in America isn't the economy, isn't the GMO, isn't all the screen time, isn't 20% of the public on hardcore big pharma drugs, mass murder, suicide pills. No, you're not getting ahead because racist white people are conspiring against you because you're black. And then white people that aren't doing too good, generally, they hear this and think it's ridiculous. They've been treated racially bad. They've been beaten up in high school. That's the classic MO. They decide to get a gun and go shoot a bunch of black people. And it's just so stupid. It's like we're two bulls in the arena, and you've got the matador with a red cape or two red capes manipulating us both to run into each other. But instead of being one bull, and the matador's got a sword behind it that he pulls the cape out of the way, and the bull goes on to the sword. Instead, he's got two capes like this. When he pulls them back, the bulls ram straight into each other head on killing themselves because make no mistake this whole black lives matter race war george Searle situation is a matador with a cape driving us onto the sword well the controlled globalist media is at it again they're trying to create unified mass guilt no matter what color you are or where you're from that if you own a gun a firearm to protect yourself protect your family in these uncertain times that it's your fault but another whack job went postal and went and killed a, a cameraman and a female reporter in Virginia. And this guy was live tweeting himself up until the time he shot himself. He's now in critical condition. Vester Flanagan was his real name. Bryce Williams was his TV reporter name. And predictably, the media is saying restrict the Second Amendment, Obama do something with executive action, gun owners, this is all your fault. Projecting guilt on the general public and covering up the fact he sent out tweets saying she made racist comments. I reported her to the EEOC. And now some people are saying, well, if she was racist, you know, she deserved to die. That type of stuff's on Twitter. You can see the graphic video at Infowars.com. The easiest place to find it is DrudgeReport.com. The shooter himself shot video, pretty good camera guy. He'd done that first in media. As he holds the gun out in front of him and videotapes, and then he shoots her and then shoots the cameraman, identified Vester L. Flanagan, post video of shooting, warning, very graphic. Allison made racist comments, he went on to say. Update, shooter himself in critical condition. NYPD beefing up security at all media outlets after news shootings. Meanwhile, San Francisco has the same problem that government buildings have. How to solve the city's public pooping problem. They're not sure why the more liberal a city it is, the more public pooping there is. And I'm not trying to be funny here. This is part of the mass mental illness of why is there more homeless people, more degradation, more ugliness, more sickeningness. And it's just all part of people that are spoiled brats want to get weirder and weirder and just society starts to collapse. And I'm telling you, San Francisco is a beautiful city, but since I was there as a young child and then as a young man, it is a pit compared to what it used to be like. It is really gross and it is really going downhill and California is really rotting. And then you go to nice areas like Santa Cruz or uh, places like uh, Newport Beach down in the south. Beautiful, beautiful, nice people. But then you get around the liberal degradation and it's like an open sore on a dog with maggots dripping out. 
And I'm not trying to be gross here, but I mean, these people are a curse. And we need to just start realizing it. They jack up taxes. They fund the most degenerate people. They fund degradation because they love it. They are aberrant. They are a problem. They are hypocrites. Hillary Clinton has all these guns and all these bodyguards. She's out in the news saying restrict the Second Amendment and all this other garbage. It makes my blood boil. We told you this was coming six, seven years ago. They said we were conspiracy theorists. North Dakota, first state to legalize armed drones for the police. Man indicted for firing a shotgun at a drone hovering near his home. That's some of the news. You go to Infowars.com. Clinton exploits Virginia shooting to call for gun legislation. Kurt Nemo, graphic, shocking, complete video shot from Virginia gunman's point of view. Hey, guys, do, do has the graphics from the Justice Department. I know you have them as a package as well. Can we find and, and play the numbers from 92 to 2012? They haven't done new numbers since with the 51% drop. That's what Fox says it's a 51% drop. Um, Professor Lott, one of the top statisticians in the world, says it's 61. Whatever, I'll take 51 and not argue. 51% drop in crime. We need to just keep hammering that and show how they're creating the perception that there's all this increased crime with guns. The truth is good people are stopping the bad people. We're scaring them. After you pass concealed carry in a state, look at the numbers. Massive drop between 25 and 50 plus percent within a couple years in Texas and Florida and other states after concealed carry went in. It works like a charm because a criminal is going to carjack you and doesn't care if there's laws against guns. Law-abiding citizens won't carry a gun most of the time unless they've already been mugged or attacked. Then they'll break the law, statistics show, to protect themselves. So after you legalize it, the carjacking stop very quick because people get blown away. I love the fact that women jog with fanny packs in parks where they get robbed. And then after a few women shoot a few thugs, it stops. And my daughter's are getting good with guns. That's what it's all about. Your wife. That's true feminism, but they don't want that. Now, I mentioned this before the break, then I'm going to go to your phone calls. And that's that if you see George Soros in the White House funding Black Lives Matter, trying to act like black people are being targeted, and that's the number one issue in the country, don't get mad at the corrupt central government. Don't get mad at the Federal Reserve. Don't get mad at Obama and the doubling of black unemployment. The problem is police. And there are some problems. That's part of the government, but they focus only on the bottom. And then act like rioting and shooting and attacking and burning is going to fix something. And then imply whites are inherently racist, whites are inherently bad. They're a problem. So knockout games, shootings, all of this intensifies. Then a crazy white person feels like he's under attack. He buys into it. The Dylan Ruff character at the Charleston shooting goes in and shoots people. Now you've got this guy who's filing EEOC things left and right and leaving TV stations in Florida and other parts of the country. He lands in Virginia, becomes successful, has some type of problems, leaves the TV station. Now there are the statistics, massive drop as guns increase, crime drops. And then suddenly, whether she said something racist or not, did she deserve to get shot in the back? If I claim a black person said something racist to me, do I get to just shoot them in the back? No, it's inherently very similar to what Roof did. And will they be able to hype further escalations out of this? And I used the analogy earlier. The globalist will put a political football issue out there that's the red cape. The bull sees it tries to attack it, and the matador might spend 20, 30 minutes, depending on how good he is, risking his life to barely turn out of the way as the sharpened horns with the multi-thousand-pound creature runs right by him. Many matadors have been killed, obviously, every year. 11 people died in the running of the bulls this year in Spain alone. And I like the fact they can't ban it because it's pure political correctness. It's an ancient cultural sport, thousands of years old, really going back to the Colosseum in Rome. And I'm not endorsing all the things that happened in Rome, but you know, this is somebody putting their life on the line. We're showing some footage, one of Spain's most famous matadors right now. 
And then they start throwing little barbed hooks into the bull's back to infuriate him even more. And then finally they put a sword behind the red cape. And when the bull charges in, the matador drives the sword all the way into the bull's heart, which is incredibly skillful, incredibly hard to stab through a foot of meat and bone and ribs with perfect targeting, a true work of art to get it into the heart. Then it's the meat's given to poor people. This is just ancient human hunting because ancients would, would, would drive spears into the chest uh, of bulls. That's how far back this goes, tens of thousands of years uh, into human history. And the matador turns his back on the bull, enticing him to come in. Now, the globalists do this all the time, try to bait people into things, and that's what Black Lives Matter is. But it's more than that. It's like a matador with two red capes getting two bulls to run into each other, killing themselves. This is all this is, is divide and conquer manipulation. And the black racists, the white racists, from their perspectives, they see real stuff that's going on, real problems. But it's a false paradigm in that it's been manipulated. And statistically, even if you got real beefs with white people or real beefs with black people or real beefs with Hispanics or vice versa, overall, the globalists are geoengineering. They're putting poison in the water. They're force feeding us GMO. They won't let us label stuff. They're opening up the borders. They're launching all these wars. They're funding Al Qaeda. They're funding Fast and Furious. They're cold blooded. They're evil. And they're pushing all this because it helps them have us at each other's throats. And I know that's elementary. But that's why I've reached out to the racist black groups and have been told to go to Hades. It's why I've reached out to people like David Duke and tried to actually have a real discussion with him and not just get in a fight with him, but try to explain to him the larger paradigm. And because I didn't agree with him, his acolytes now hate my guts. Well, don't worry, I won't talk to him again. I won't reach out to try to... You know, just do the right thing and be chivalrous here. Okay, fine. The point is, if people want their ignorance, they're going to have it. But if you want to stop most of the mass shootings, get people off the suicide mass murder pills. We're going to go to break with this clip from Piers Morgan. Haven't played this in a while. Then we're going to come back with your calls straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's a big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, got to cut that off, don't you? No, don't want to talk about the U.S. Tell number one cause of death is suicide now because they give people suicide Calm mass down. murder pills. Calm down. Your answer is give more money to the psychiatrist Fine. and psychologist let's, to put more crazy people on drugs that make them kill people, Pierce. Let's try and have a debate here. Yeah. Answer me this question. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of the same old script here, bud. It's fine, bud. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's a big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, well, gotta cut that off, don't you? No, don't want to talk about the U.S. Tell number one cause of death is suicide now because they give people suicide Calm mass down. murder pills. Calm down. Your answer is get more money to the psychiatrist Fine. and psychologist let's, to put more crazy people on drugs that make them kill people, Pierce. Let's try and have a debate here. Yeah. Answer me this question. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of the same old script here, bud. It's fine, bud. And that says it all. Our little TriCaster seized up and they're not the fault of the crew. We'll be right back on the other side. And I promise I'm going to callers in Canada, Missouri, Maine, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. A lot of calls from Missouri. We'll be back. I'm your host, Alex Jones. What are they diverting us with right now, though, making this the number one story? What are they diverting us? Obviously, I'm wound up. This season of craziness has really got me on edge. Uh, there's a battle going on in the controlled media right now to blame the Second Amendment and collectively blame all of us. I've had a whole bunch of different TV networks, newspapers, you name it, are calling, emailing, saying, we want comment from Alex Jones. What does he say now? It'd be like if I raised cattle. Cattle kill hundreds of people a year, speaking of bulls, in the U.S. alone. And somebody had a bull get out of their pen and, and kill a five-year-old kid. That happened in Texas just last year. You got cows, too. How you feeling after that cow did that? It's like, well, that happens. That's part of life. I'm sad, but it's not my fault. It's not my bull. I mean, it's the same thing that they sit there with a straight face and collectively blame gun owners. It's just crazy. It's time to get back in their faces. Then meanwhile, this is obviously some mentally unstable whack job who said that she was racist so she deserved it. So clearly, you've got a lot stronger link there than blaming gun owners to say the media pushing racial division as a distraction, they're to blame. 
So I'm going to say MSNBC, CNN, and others pushing race war.